people talk about generational curses, like, well, this happened to my mom, this happened to my dad, this happened to my great grandparents, so this is why it's happening to me. It's a curse. People get this notion from the Old Testament where it says that I'll curse the third and fourth generations of those that hate me. But it's not so much a generational curse because if you're in Christ, you're redeemed from the curse. It's more familiar spirits, demon spirits that follow family lines down through the generations, working on them through anxiety, through fear, through alcohol, through drugs, through anger, through temper. And if these demon spirits are not challenged with the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, and the word of God, they continue for every single generation onto the kids. And a lot of it is trained or learned behavior. You eat a certain way because this is how your parents ate. You act a certain way or drink or do whatever just like your parents. So unless the person's mind gets renewed to the word and they know their rights in Christ, these generational curses continue in every family down through the years. That's why you see people's ancestry like it is. But it's not so much a curse. It's spirits that are assigned to certain families that you can break with the word of God, the name of Jesus, and the blood because they overcame him by the word of their testimony and the blood of the lamb.